So there have been some changes in the game to the play field yet again, which is uh, <laughs> causing some visual weirdness. Um, so I think I will have to yet again, whoa, uh, start over. Cause I think like this is supposed to be a play. Welcome back, everybody, to Empyreon Galactic Survival Alpha 7 Experimental. So, with the latest update, Experimental 7.2, uh, they redid some of the textures on Akua and on other planets. And in order for me to actually load up my game, I had to delete a couple of files. I uh, take that it was planet texture files. And they were supposed to reload and I, uh, you know, I'd be able to play the game. Well, I did so and this is what I got. Um, yeah. So, uh, the uh, texture thing is all weird and wonky and screwed up on my save file. Um, I did start a new game and to test it out, uh, see if it, it's not like this on a new game just here so uh, I'm gonna have to go ahead and restart the game I don't know why I'm running I'm gonna have to restart anyway but I uh, I went ahead and saved my hover vessel I saved my hover vessel as a uh, hover a7 because it's an alpha 7 hover vessel and I uh... oh plant monster there's also a plant monster <laughs> but anyway I'm gonna have to uh, restart the game and I uh... so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now and I uh, will bring you uh, to the result <laughs> anyway I'm gonna go ahead and restart and I'll see you guys in the new game. All right. So we're going to start the new game. Again, I'm going to start on Akua, medium settings. I don't think the seed matters at all. So, uh, because right now they're just using the standard uh, planet, pre-gen planet things. So I'm going to go ahead and, of course, that's a different random seed than before, but I'm going to go ahead and start. Uh, let's call this 7.2. Um, and let's go ahead and start and uh, get into the game. Alright, so here we are falling onto the planet. There's a POI over there. Uh, right here is the crashed shuttle, and as you can see, there's the lake, the swamp, or there's a lake. I don't know, this, do this does look a bit different, doesn't it? Maybe the randoms, maybe this was a random seed? I don't know. I have no idea, but the crashed shuttle is about in the same area let's look at the map real quick so it looks like they did a little bit of change to the map um because this used to be swamp down here and now it's not um let's go ahead and equip that uh like i said on medium now you start with an ore scanner so that's really nice um Let's see, we've got the crashed shuttle right here. And, uh... Let's go ahead and take a look. Now, this looks almost exactly the same. Almost. Except the swamp area 
that was right down the hill here is now a lake. And that's up there. And so, so maybe the random seed actually does do something. I don't know, but for some reason I'm getting a lot better FPS than I used to. And the terrain looks a lot better. <laughs> and of course the hints come on. All right, let's go ahead and turn the hints off. Uh, hints off, because I don't need hints. Okay. Um, but it does look, well, the resource things are a little bit different, too, because now I've got iron and copper right nearby. And Prometheum is not as close as it was. I don't know. The random seed thing does seem to be different. I don't. I, I, I don't know. I'll have to do some tests and figure that out. You know, but for some reason I'm getting a lot better FPS in here. So anyway, we're gonna go ahead and get started by uh, searching everything here. And putting some fuel in there. Um, we're going to go ahead and use the Promethium fuel packs to fuel that up. Uh, let's put that in there because I don't need it. Um, I'm not going to need that. Let's keep the biofuel. Let's go ahead and put the constructor down where we had it before. Um, I'm going to go through a lot of this. Let's go ahead. Let's see. It was wheat and pumpkins that I had planted out here. So let's go ahead and plant the wheat and pumpkins. Get that turned on. Uh, power to the base. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and put this right back down here where we had it. Okay, now we're pretty much back to exactly where we were before. Interesting, multi-charge. Okay. So, I, I've had a head cold the past couple of days. So, you might... Uh, I'm, I'm going to be muting the uh, the thing. Um, I, let me make sure... Yeah. Um, the mute button does work, so... Um, so you guys won't hear me hacking and coughing and all that. Let's go ahead and activate uh, delicious green eating so that when I gather Akua berries and stuff, I can get it. Um, which, there are no Akua berries here. Huh. Interesting. Anyway, um, so the main thing that we're going to want to try to do is get back to where we were with the hover vessel... So hover A7 right here is what we're going to want. So we need 110 iron ingots, 86 copper ingots, and 68 silicon ingots. And I need to be level 3 to uh, unlock that. In order to get to level 3, I think I'm just going to go around picking a bunch of Akua berries to spoil for, uh, for biofuel. Um... Because you can basically make a round with this. Also, um, they re-added seaweed to the uh, swamps and all that. So I should be able to get down there and go in it. You see, that's not a swamp anymore. It's a lake. That's weird. Like, that, I think, is a swamp. But, I don't know. That's, that's very... Yeah, it's, it's got to be a new seed, but it's very similar. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and gather up some things and get up to uh, level 3. And I'll be back once I have uh, gotten all the stuff I need for the hover vessel. Alright, so I wanted to go ahead and show you uh, what the ore scanner looks like. Um, so I'm over here near the copper deposit and I was digging with my drone using the ore scanner. I figured I'd show you this ore deposit is really close and you can see the one behind it, you know, if you go around and you can basically tell 
how far away things are just like that. And so if I just dig straight towards this one, it should... Yep, yeah, right there. And there it goes. And now I can dig towards the other ones and get to them. Uh, I think this one and that one are the next closest. But I... Uh, I mean, I figured I'd show you guys what the ore scanner looks like. Oh, that one's closer. Um, I figured I'd show you guys what the ore scanners look like, ore scanner looks like when you're using it. In order to use it, you have to have the ore scanner. Okay, it just has to be in your inventory, like the uh, uh, night vision goggles. It just has to be in your inventory, and I. Uh, it only uh, shows the ore when you have a drill equipped. So, anyway, I'm going to keep drilling for uh, copper ore and stuff and getting stuff ready for the hover vessel. And I'll be back once I'm there. Alright, so, as you may or may not notice, there have been a little bit of changes. Um, so... Between the last time you saw me here and now, uh, Alpha Experimental 7.3 has dropped. Uh, it's a few days later. Um, I was sick for the past few days. So I figured, you know, I would come back and finish from here. But as you can see, looking at the terrain in the distance changing, I don't know if you can see it, but there, there have been some changes there look over there you see that so there have been some changes in the game to the play field yet again which is uh, <laughs> causing some visual weirdness um, so I think I will have to yet again whoa uh, start over because I think like this is supposed to be a lake and y yeah so uh, a little bit of uh, some things have changed. Wow, look at the moon, though. That's awesome. So, yeah. Um, I'm not sure why Like they keep changing things that are major changes uh, that make the game uh, not unplayable, I suppose, but it ma makes the older saves, well weird like this weird weird anyway so I'm gonna go ahead and restart yet again I'm gonna go and I uh, get to the point where I've got my hover vessel and uh, I I might record the entire thing I might not I don't know um, but well I'll come back uh, with you guys when I have uh, the hover vessel ready to build in, in whatever place it is. Because, yeah, I, I, I can't deal with the, the grass holes. I guess it's better than grass clouds, though, yeah, wouldn't you say? Anyway, I'll be back in a bit with a uh, new game. Um, I'll try to restart it on this same seed. But, uh, I don't know, it might just be a random seed. I don't know. You know, that's an interesting thing. I'll, I'll check to see if the seed actually does anything. So, anyway, um, I will be back. Yeah, I'll be back in a bit. Alright, so, we're back under cover of darkness, ready to spawn in our hover vessel. The hover A7 that we made previously. Now, one of the things that you'll notice is that with Experimental 7.3, you can actually see the outline of the uh, thing that you're going to be spawning in. So, uh, let's go ahead and just spawn it right there. Okay, so here is our little hover vessel that we made earlier and we put right in here. Yay! <laughs> okay. Um, so now I'm considering moving all of my resources from this constructor to the mobile constructor because you can actually make more stuff in the mobile constructor.
uh, including once I unlock them things for the small vessel, which you could not make in here. Um, I think I'm pretty sure you can make stuff for the small vessel and the hover vessel constructor. Um, so that's what I'm planning on doing. Um, but first I have reached level five. Um, I was attacked by a night raptor and a plant monster, you know, out here just, uh, waiting for stuff. So I've gained a couple of levels. I also went around and gathered a bunch of, uh, uh, stuff here and started spoiling it so that I can start making, uh, uh, seaweed or not making mm, biofuel from seaweed. Well, from those spoiled food, sorry, instead of from seaweed. And, uh, so I've started, uh, making up the biofuel here. Um, and, uh, once it's done making the biofuel, I think I'm going to move everything out. Well, I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and move everything over because I'm going to start using this as my constructor and we should be able to, let's see. No, you cannot do, I uh, cobalt with this. Unfortunately, but we can do pentaxid if we find it, which I don't think we could do here. Uh, no, we couldn't do pentaxid here. So, uh, the next thing that I think we need to do, I want to move everything from in there into here. And I want to put some cargo boxes on here somewhere. And I'm not entirely sure where I want to put them because, let's see, have I unlocked the cargo box? I think I did, yeah. Um, I've also got some more unlock points that I want to go ahead and use. Um, with this, I'll need an AI large constructor, I believe. Uh, but I think I want to go ahead and learn that. I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll figure that out later. Um, right now I want to go ahead and get everything I can moved over to here. So let's go ahead and take out most of the fuel that I've put in here. Uh, let's take out and that'll leave 19. That'll leave 2% in there. And let's go ahead and fuel this one up, which the fuel tank is right there. There we go, 95%. So let's turn you on. Uh, let's look in here. Now, um, I want to do this. Uh, RCS, thrusters, hover engine, and all the thrusters key to custom one and custom one is going to be movement systems so I can just shut them off and save power unfortunately the dust cloud will remain but as long as the thing is on but that's okay now I can go ahead and make up a shotgun and an assault rifle I've got some shotgun ammo inside I also want to make up, let's make four cargo boxes and see if we can find a place to place them that doesn't look too bad. Um, then once the shotgun and that are made up, I want to try, I want to just make like 10 of each. That should give me a little extra ammunition. Um, inside here, I think I got some shotgun shells, was it? Uh, yeah. So let's go ahead and grab all this. I also want to go ahead and learn hover vessel, the refrigerator and the spotlight, uh, since I'm high enough level to do that and the medium thruster. Um, I don't think I want to put a hover booster on, at least not yet, but I do want to put some docking pads on the bottom of it. And, uh, the, I. Uh, Hover vessel, 
uh, mobile constructor makes things faster than the other one anyway. So, okay, I've already got a core. I don't know why I didn't throw this core in and use it to make the vessel, but whatever. Um, okay, so I want at least one spotlight blocks and I want at least one refrigerator. Um, where on here I will put those, I don't know. Um, I could take this block out and put the refrigerator there and then put a cargo box over here with it. Um, but I do like that dip like that. So I don't think I want to actually remove anything. I think what I want to do is add on to it. Um, yeah, I think that's what I want to do. Um, since I have this, I want to do this. Let's see, do I want to, I want to disassemble. Um, now I want to go ahead and symmetry plane you, but I'll do it in the middle there when I get, I should actually have, no, I'm going to need to make up some blocks and this will cue things uh, that I can make. Let's do 20 steel blocks. So once those are made up, I can do the 20 steel blocks. All right, let's go ahead and take you two out. Assault rifle and shotgun. Uh, let's go ahead and get your ammo loaded up. I've got decent amount of ammo for the shotgun. All right, so we got that, and then we'll get that, and then those. Okay, because there is a little modification that I want to do to the hover vessel to add places for cargo. I'm thinking I want to extend these wings out a little bit and put the cargo boxes like right here on each side. I'll probably only use two of the cargo boxes to start with and I might end up expanding you know the vessel I don't know backwards or even out sideways further um, but before I do that um, I'm gonna uh, let's see I want to rename this a7 mark one And I will upload this in each of its stages up to the workshop so that you guys can uh, use it. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Hover A7 Mark 1, published to public. And I uh, give me let's see, ammunition. I'm going to put these two down here. Okay, let's go ahead and put this out here, out here. Did I not? Nope, I want to make that up as well. Okay. So, now I can actually symmetry plane it there yep in the middle perfect all right first things let's take off well let's reload this that and then here I want to put spotlight slope horizontal that way we've got a forward facing light right there um Let's see, let us take off that and let's do the same over here. Okay. Now we still have 11 of these. I want 
to go ahead and do this. And I want to angle this. Yeah. Whoa. No, no, no. Not there. I want to angle this here and have this come straight across. Like so. Do I want it? No. I want... I actually... Let me do this. Come over here, because that's all buggy. Actually, no. Since that's buggy, I'm going to end up building here anyway. There. And there. And then... Angle... Angle... Diagonal. Okay, and that didn't completely go all the way across because I had a couple more in there to use but I can do this this and that let's put this down here okay and then the diagonal will go there Twenty side the refrigerator Actually, no. Hold on. Let's take you out here. Okay, I want to put a refrigerator there. What? Where'd you... Oh, you just put it on this side in the wrong place. Okay. Okay. Fine. Let's put this there. Mirrored. Mirrored. Okay. I want to put you here like that. So I can access the fridge there. I'm going to put one of these. Wow. I didn't mean to go that far. I'm going to put one of these over here. Like so. And I will have one left over here. Now I'm going to put a steel, a full steel block there and there. All right, so I've got two cargo boxes over here and a cargo box and a refrigerator over here on those wings. Okay, let's go ahead and movement systems on. Let's elevate this a bit. Now, you can access those and these from the bottom, which is fine. But I want to put some landing pads on it. Now, for landing pads, we need to... Can I even make them in here? Did I learn them? I did. Can you make docking pads in here? No. Huh. We're going to have to make docking pads in a large constructor. Which means I'm going to have to build a large constructor. Okay. Uh, let's do a large constructor. And then I'm going to have to move some stuff over to the large constructor. Then dis disassemble the large constructor. Because I'm going to disassemble a lot of this base. Let me go ahead and start moving things over to this base. Let's get rid of that annoying symmetry plane. Um, wait. Wait none there okay um okay let's move all this to the refrigerator i already took out all that okay i think that's all we really need in here and you're going to be put in here Okay, and 
then I've got that extra row down there for other food stuff. Let's put you down there so you don't spoil. You know, I've, that that's that's a good idea, isn't it? Um, okay. On this side, we're going to put the non-ammunition stuff that we're going to hold on to. And then on the other side in here, we're going to put ammunition that I don't need yet. And then with this, we're going to put you... Yeah, let's just bam right there. Okay, um, let us grab those because that's all I should need to be able to make one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm probably gonna, not going to need all of those, but, you know, uh, might as well. Okay, now for you. Uh, no, I want to disassemble... See, if I deconstruct it now, you don't get all the parts back. You only get some of it back. Okay. You as that are going to go there so we can go forwards faster. Uh, okay. And you're done making things. Okay. Okay. Let's just go ahead and turn movement systems off and then let us auto group and I'm going to have to reconnect all of this to movement systems. That is one thing that is unfortunate for about the auto group is you have to rekey your groups but okay and if I get in here you should fall okay now okay I left it on because the refrigerator isn't on let us turn off the constructor because we're not using it you have six of the no wait why did you Why did you not make these? I'm confused. Oh, because you ran out of power. There. Now it shouldn't it should be okay. Let's see. Going at this rate, how long do you have? One minute? Is that going to be enough? I don't know. Let's see how much biofuel I've made up. Nine. Alright, let's pick that up. Let's do... There. Now I should have a couple of minutes. Let's get away from there so I don't overheat. And once the second one pops up, let's go ahead and put them on here. Uh, I'm going to need movement systems on. Okay. These two I'm going to want to put out here. Like so. Then I'm going to want to put probably two in the back here and two up front over here or maybe just one up front. I don't know. Probably two in the back and one, one up front. So I'm not going to need the last one of those. Alright. One up front right there. And then two in the back, here and there. Mm. 
And then once it's done making this, I should be able to do that. And I'm going to want to disassemble this because I'm going to want to use it later. Okay. Okay. Um, let's just go ahead and turn the power to this base off because we're not going to be using it at all. Um, let's put this in here and then all this extra stuff in there. And then let's put that and that in there. Okay. So you here and there. All right, now we have the Mark II completed. Let's turn off movement. Okay. And save as hover a seven Mark II. All right, and I think we're just going to keep upgrading and expanding this hover vessel as we go, um, as we explore Akua. I would like to explore the entirety of Akua that we can before I, uh, before building a small vessel or even, even building a base, I don't really want to do. I want to come back and use this if I have to use a base like with a large with a large constructor or whatever but I might find a better one that's why I'm taking the large constructor with me but anyway so we're going to next episode head out in our hover vessel mark 2 and we're going to explore Akua we're probably going to start by coming over here and taking out that drone now that I've got some decent weaponry here Um, now they did revamp a lot of the weapons, uh, their ranges and everything. Uh, one thing that I like that they did is the shotgun does a lot of damage up close, but not nearly as much further away. Hopefully that will, will, I uh, carry over to, I uh, enemy weapons. But anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope everybody enjoyed the episode. If you did, hit the like button for me. And if you want to see more Imperion Galactic Survival Experimental Alpha 7, go ahead and subscribe. I'm Know-It-All DM. And as always, y'all have a good day now.